Now, at first glance, it looks like we're in some kind of a nightclub here with the lights and the strobes and everything going off. But actually, uh, we are in... <laughs> Remember those commercials way back when, when the city of Lethbridge was doing for the transit buses, you know, their 40-foot limos? Yeah. We are actually in a 40-foot limo, courtesy of Dave Broadway and Executive Four Star Limousine, the newest and greatest limo in town. Uh, first of all, thanks for joining us. Thanks for getting us in here. This is really nice. But uh, give us the specs on what exactly we're well, sitting in now. It's impressive. You're sitting in Canada's largest limo, which is home to Lethbridge. It is a 24-passenger limo uh, built on a six, uh, F650 chassis, and this vehicle is eight feet tall. As you'll see in some of the other shots, when we're driving down the street, we're actually looking down on a lot of people. Um, it's got the great hardwood floors in it. It's just uh, in the limo business, you always want that bigger and better. And I did a lot of due diligence with the Transport Canada and stuff like that, and found a way and got her in here. And we're gonna, we're really gonna roll with this vehicle. So bumper to bumper, we're talking 40 feet, um, eight feet high. This is an impressive vehicle to sit in. I mean, 24 people can sit in here comfortably. Yes. Uh, what's it like to drive? Um, it's hard actually driving because you're walking down, <laughs> driving down the street and everyone's just looking at you and there's cell phones <laughs> that are people taking videos of you. It's unbelievable. Um, the first time we parked it in a parking lot, it took us a half an hour to get inside, the, inside our restaurant where we were going because everybody wanted to, what is that thing, what is that thing? So telling them and everything like that, it's, it's fun. How, uh, how is it to parallel park? Ah, uh, you put the hazards. You put the hazards on. Boom, and you hope you're there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and it's funny because you were the first one in town to have the the Ford excursions, right? Yes. I mean, that was a big. It used to be the limo car, and then you got the Ford excursions, and and I think you had like two or three of them, and those were big, you know. But until you see this beside them, uh, this thing is just absolutely massive. What kind of things do you have to worry about with Transport Canada to get something like this in? Uh, Transport Canada is very tough their guidelines a lot of safety issues and all that stuff who were far too many it's like a 90 yeah. 95 page document so and they have to do all these different crash tests even in the states um this vehicle is called the mammoth the 650 mammoth and it, they all in the industry they call it the hummer killer because there's a few you see on the few of the shows of the hummers the h2s that are creating those things don't even match up to this vehicle no nothing no they really don't uh when you when you talk about you know, putting 24 people in here. A lot of people think of limos for weddings and graduation and things like that. Um, what are some other things that maybe they don't think about that would be nice to get a limo and, and do for a couple of hours on any given night? Uh, a lot of people, even a lot of staff, staff incentives, staff functions, keeping your staff and their guests safe off the road, you know, trying to call a taxi even at 1230 at night could be tough. So for our drive home services, in the past we've used all our SUVs and even our sedan for those things. In fact, we did the 93.3 and a lot of people needed that ride home. <laughs> yes, the company Christmas party, which, yeah. you know, stays in the company. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's not go there. But uh, you still do a lot of, uh, you know, going up to Calgary for Flames games, yes. things like that. Um, not only that, but when it's not being used here, uh, you do go basically all over southern Alberta. Yeah, our, our, our Alberta transport guidelines, I am certified for anywhere in, to and from anywhere in Alberta. And we like to joke with our clients, uh, we can go wherever your credit card will let you take you. <laughs> so, no. But uh, we do a lot of work up in Calgary, especially with, through the grad seasons and stuff like that. There's just no, there's not enough limos. Yeah. And the parties just keep getting bigger and bigger. Like I have three SUV limos already on the fleet and they are 12 passenger limos. And you know what, on a weekly basis, I'm having that phone call, well, we have 15, we have 16. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Uh, I can't put any more than 12 in a vehicle and some people try, some companies will try that but it's, we just you know we operate within our guidelines so once I started doing all my research down at the Vegas show the limo shows in Vegas and stuff like that that's where I found this and it, it was about a five month process trying to make sure everything was all you know all my T's are crossed and dot, dotted my eyes and everything like that and now we're ready for those parties but you know what sure as heck someone's gonna say I got 26 or something <laughs> Unfortunately, folks, I, I, I can't give you anything bigger. Like it's. All right, so let's say somebody has a function, somebody wants to do something, they want to rent this Canada's largest limo. How do they go about getting hold of you? Well, they can get a hold of us by calling 329-5466 or easy tagline, 329-LIMO. 
easy to remember as long as you can spell <laughs> you'll be okay and actually yeah our summer's already broken up pretty much for like our weddings and stuff like that we have a big wedding show january 13th at the exhibition grounds this will be featured there and uh I imagine we'll see a lot of jaws drop. Yeah, I'd imagine you will. Uh, Dave Broadway, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for bringing this. It's nice to know Lethbridge has Canada's largest limousine. We, we need to hold some records for a while yes, here. So, we do. Thanks for All having right. me. Thanks for joining us today on Seen and Heard. And uh, we'll be back after I take this puppy for a spin around the block.